Hello guys, welcome to the Keanu stream here. Sorry that we didn't stream the first map here. They had a close, close map on the fortress, losing 250 to 249. Uh, hopefully we can get it back here, winning a 3-1 win from starting from SND here. We got Exilius Dream here on top, looking for an A play here on a silo SND. So what SND is essentially is that is a non-respawn uh, respawn map where you have to go into either bay A bomb or B bomb site here and plant it and have the blow it up or kill everyone on the other team there. Curves just looking for audio cue, get playing, see if they can get find anyone. Hopefully they can play together and get a trade or at least a pick together as well. So it looks like they're trying to get Shark out of here, which they do. We got Shoku planting the bomb, playing it safe. Craze going for in for a pick here as he did. Now Brayden uh, Cruz at a 1 2, two situation. Not able to find it. Nico stay able to get the first round here. All right, so over the boys, uh, get a deep breath. There's a lot of rounds to play in. We always you know, seen a whole bunch of comebacks here and a whole bunch of play styles that we can see. So we'll see a standard default for us here. Looks like both of us were going to hit into a bomb, just to make sure to clear that site there. But it looks like Nickel State is looking to make a B play here, see if Keanu is ready for that. Everyone's fine. Already knows that that bomb is down at B. Hopefully you can find a play his life. See if you can find a pick. Oh, if you see if you got unfortunate timing here. Oh, but Shark does not see him coming into tools. Actually, I don't think Brody knows that bomb is down at B here. Brody looks like he's it's playing safe. See if they had time, but did not. Shark is going to play inside bomb side here. Oh, pushing green fence. I don't think he will see him when he's lying down as there's boxes between the fence and him. Oh. Oh. Brody is always that clutch, man. Always never loses his ones. We love to see that. So we see if that could give them a good momentum here, a good uprising to these next rounds here.
I do like to see them what kind of want to rush the bomb site here, but uh, it seems like they want to get a pick first uh, before entering the site. So it looks like no one's in the site. We got one person rapping, two people rapping on top office here. They got them on top money. Let's see if they see if they got that info for that. So we got at least a trade here. Everyone's pushing back, making sure they're cleaning the sites, like the play that Braden's uh, Cruz is doing. Alex in sight, oh, but gets picked off. Um, yeah, it only takes 7.5 seconds just to defuse a bomb if Alex is either to either play his life or able to get that pick just right in the kegs. Then it would have been a close out round for him. But a nice try from the Keanu Huskies here. For sure. I do, we always see that Keanu Huskies like to play a little bit aggressive, but they want to play slow as they know it's going to be a close game. But hopefully they can find a pick first here, which Brody does. Oh, but C-Mac was able to play his life. They're going rotating back. The whole Nicholas Day has control of the top tower on the left side of the hill here. I believe they kind of recognize that. Xelios with the sniper. We'll see if he can make a play up top back party. Oh, it's, it's always nerve-wracking with s &D. Going up to 11 rounds, so first to 6 uh, will close out the map here. So we know it's going to be a very close game, just how the hard point was. So hopefully, we'll close out the map here. Yeah, three. This is huge for us. We were going at three v three. They knew they're gonna flank last time, so at least we got that trade, which is huge for us. But we're trying to grab more info, see where everyone else plays on audio. But it doesn't look like Nicholas State is moving. Jared. Gonna finish those shots there. A little bit of rotating back. I'm gonna help them here. Probably going top office here. Yeah, they were able to pinch in together, which is good for Nicholas State. 
But uh, unfortunately for us, for Kiana, this game we couldn't close that out. But I do want to see them hopefully just to push, rush in the bomb site, get that pick early, and then plant a bomb as soon as possible. They always trying to play some info, but we know that we, if we put aggression, we can always push up and have a good start in the round. Okay, if I'm able to find info on CMAC here, knowing that they are in bottom pool. But do they know that Shark is on a wrap behind them going to top party or the... Shark? Yeah, sure. Brayden waiting for his for his daddy to go back up here. Just to let the bomb go down a little bit here. See he has daddy for the next round. But good close out there, getting those trades. I like what the Exilia is doing, just to defuse the bomb, knowing that he is pretty far from the bomb site. But not a bad play in general. Looks like Nico stays playing aggressive and got the uh, Looks like Nico stays putting that aggression going to the top money on top of their office to get an early pick on them. Hopefully we can do the same. Get that early pick as well on defense here. Tied it up again with 4-4. Four and four. But I do want to see them push a aggression again to A. Um, get that bomb site quick and easy in there. Because we know if, as long as we get a pick knowing that they are being aggressive themselves on defense. We probably can do the same. Info on five. Yeah. Tipping, not that. Oh, we got a nade on Brody with 20 HP, playing his life inside the truck. Hoping to get this pick, oh, but if he had that, how would have won that fight there? But they do know that someone's close heal. Show who get that done. What two? What a huge two piece there. Wow. 
I like this found the Keanu Huskies. Everyone's able to pick up their, you know, their weight here. Everyone is going six kills even, and then Brody with seven. We like to see that everyone's picking up their own weight, having their own picks of first picks, and able to clutch up as well. Here we see him making a B play. Alex trying to get a good plan, but knows that Craze is on the right side trucks here. Let's see if he can get it off here. Brody not able to finish him off. But... That was a good try. Nice try. Like the play that from Keanu Huskies making that B play, but unfortunately not able to get that picks they want to get. They had the info, but not able to close it out. But hopefully here, Husky's looking good on defense. Let's see if we can have make it to round 11 here. Definitely like what the Keanu Husky is going to do. C Mac with the sniper and a pistol only. Might be able to get a gun from the bomb planter here. As he does, Alex, does he have the info? He does. So he's going to play his life, get everyone else set up here to at least to have a trade or watch the angles. But C Mac doesn't have any daddy. He's going to play it nice and slow. See if he has time here. 25 seconds left. Only gets five seconds to plant the bomb. Let's see what... What a close game for these guys here. Both teams really making it a nerve-wracking time for the both of us and a stressful time for everyone else. Right, so round 11, last round. Who's going to win it? Who has defense? Looks like Keanu has the defense here. You know, defense has been a strong streak for both teams. So we'll see if they can close it out. Brody going top party here. See if he's gonna get some info. Looks like Kurz and Shoku getting that A bomb site control. I like what Jer's playing. He got stunned. They got the info from that. Let's we'll see if he's able to get a big pick before they get the trade out. out. It was a very nice try from Keanu. Ho hoping they had strong defense there, but they got picked up early. And a good play from Nicholas State just to rotate just the left side of the map. 
just from top tower and a control here. But man, what a close, close rounds. Nicholas A able to close it out here. We'll see if we can make a full versus first sweep, knowing that it is a very close game as well. Piano.
So map three is same map we did before as a seal, but the game type we're going to play is called control. So for those who don't know what control is, it is a capture and defend to capture the two marked areas, which is A and B. So the capture team has to capture both points or kill everyone. And the def uh, defense team has to uh, either time out all the run the clock out or kill everyone as well. So they have only three, 30 lives each. So it more like SD and Hardpoint mixed together here as they have amount of lives left and still a good amount of respawns to use. But hopefully the Keanu Huskies can close this, uh, get you know a reverse sweep going here. We know it's a close game. They can definitely do it. We'll see if they have the mental for it. Pretty with a good pick here. Let's see how they're going to set up. We got that A set up here. Huge, huge front of Keanu Huskies here. Having a lot of time to go through the B here as well with the amount of lives tied to 23-23 as well. So a lot of time and a lot of lives to work around with. So it only takes really one play to close out a round here. And then again, it's first to three, which team it goes to. So best, pretty much best out five. Uh, best out three out of here. For this round. See a lot of trades happening there. Got that peak control. Braden and, and Kurz and Brody were already up there. Have that chrome gem, but unfortunately got kicked off there. And now they need to get control back. We would like to see getting that control at back party and see if they can close out that spawns. Haven't been spawning left side of the map here. Or the bottom right to your left here. Such as such, they could have closed it. Just small hair of a tick just to get that fully be captured there. there. But what, what a good play from Nicholas Lee able, able to do. Do. Back back here. Back here. So, so one more, more good play. play. I actually do to go down down there. Curse with trade. Oh, and the trade is not able to find where the clear is. But here, Zillios. Ah, not able to get that kill. Nicholas stay able to find that control on me here. Able to set up and make sure Keanu Husky's not able to have that map control that they want. Hopefully uh, Keanu can do the same here. Have that great control covering the areas that is most important. And see if we can make a, a good round here.
still is able to find that info, get that out of my control here. So they aim to get that control. And then we got Kurz and Alex trying to get that inner control. Oh, the Kurz got, got picked off here. Does Shoku be able to find him? Does! And let's see, we get that inner map controlling him to pull. It looks like Nicholas State's trying to get that control of the map area inner and out as well. And just have one player just to be contested one time. But Zelios able to pick him off. Turns on the kid. Oh, but doesn't close it out. There goes 10 seconds left for Nicholas State. Let's see, you got C-Mac trying to go stop the time here, which he does, which has 5 seconds left here. See if Keanu can take them off this time so they don't get an extra minute to go to the next. We have 10, up to 10 lives, 9 each. It's a very close game. Again, they just only need one push. Nicholas State does to just close this round out. But twist. hopefully Keanu can have that good control, which they do. We got someone all gone case, but not able to see where he is. Oh my, everyone's just giving us a little stress and have some nerves here. Such, such close friends here. <laughs> Them playing, I like what the Exilius was doing, playing his life, knowing that there's one person left on the B control here, waiting for others to have that trade if possible. But Jer, uh, Exilius able to close that out. We'll see what the Husky's going for, B or A. Seems like they're gonna might go for a safe A and have that quickly here, have that control. And knowing that they can get that control of the inner portion of the map and close this ground out. But Look at that, the QTP was able to spawn him out to the and now they should have that control. I do want to see someone get that controlled in the inner portion map, but it looks like they're gonna have that outer portion controlled. Do they know that Craze is coming out on the right side? Shoku should have that. And does pick him off.
And then spawning out on the hillside. This is huge for us. Looks like they are using the streak to get them out of here. This is the husky I know. This is the husky that has the structured part of it. Big, big peaks. Everyone doing their job, watching their angles, and having a good comms, I believe. Because that, that was a great round from them. But a quick round to close that out. So just need one more round to close it out. They have a really good defense. Let's see how it goes. Control up tower here, getting that info, finding these kills. Not able to get kills on Grace here, but they have that inner control where it is tough once if they get in that spawn trap to get out. But now if they able to get Bray uh, Curs out of there, or right, Shoku out of there. Yeah, pick by pick, everyone's doing their job. It's it's looking very good. It's up to 24 to 16. Man, they have that control. Nicholas, they're not able to get that tick. And Gizelios taking them off this point here. Yeah, Vernon. Nicholas, so you're trying to get that control so they can stop it coming in, but pick by pick, they're able to get it. Three down, one more to Nicholas State here. Six seconds left. They cannot close it. They don't have the time to get to any of the points. And great job from the Keanu Huskies. This is what I like to see. Getting the groove back on. For sure, it's like <laughs> oh, just like to getting the control, the response. It's just amazingly getting that control of the outer portion, inner portion, which the Keanu Huskies did. Everyone did their part of their jobs. You know, we got Brody and Jared playing the outside lanes, and then you got Shoku and Kurz in the inside of the the building. Like having those two subs in the middle and then two uh, uh, ARs, one on the left and one on the right, is a huge, huge part of having that control of the map, which they did perfectly. You know, they executed that really well, getting those trades, having that control. It, that's why they were able to close that out on a good old fashion on the last two rounds there.
Yeah, we weren't able to get the stream of going for the first part here, hard point here, but uh, it was very close. Another 250 to 245 loss, uh, 249 loss there. But essentially, what it is, first team to 250 or uh, who has the most pay, uh, points by the end of the timer here. So we have five different hills that they're going to have to rotate and fight for. And this is the spawn that we want to keep here. So we'll see if Husky can do a good job for that. Which they find three to start off the map. Definitely here. We'll see. They they have that spawn for the next rotation for the next P Hill. So I like the control they got to see. You got Nicholas Tate going from P1 and kind of push into dome. But Brody able to hold it down. Spawning into from to P5 here. So teacher, what Brody was doing, that's called snaking. Getting that info hard to shoot from them as well. We are on a good heady. But here, Gray is able to take off. Curse with a nice pistol shot there. Able to go to P3. But who to be able to win those to get that spawn for next year? See, Exilius can do the same, get that control and back of useless here. Just in the back where number one is, which is Q-Tippy. They want to get that spawns there. Yeah, they go stay. For sure. Uh, Nicholas stay able to find that control here since they've been spawning to, from the, from dome there. So they looks like they're gonna chalk that up. Maybe just go for a new one here, and maybe uh, Shoku is gonna fight a little bit of time so they get too much. Of it. Find one. Not able to find the second one there. But let's see if the Keanu has can set up good for this next P heal. Yeah, Hers is trying to just try and find pigs and playing that great time just to get that control. We got 26 seconds here. Kaisuke is going to fight for this. And not able to win for this P4 here. Let's see, hopefully you get another setup here. A very close game, 77 to 67 right now. And on to the hill number 5. Kaisuke's already set up how they want it. Let's see if they can get to number 4. C-Mac off from this rotation here. Having that one-on-one -on -one trade, water fight, <laughs> we love to see those. Kurz not able to kill. 
But here he got some trades. Shoku with a good two piece to have that control of that hill. Brody able to get that last kill as well. Looks like they're going on the rotation here. We're going to just go back to another reset. Back to P1. 100 to 99 after the first rotation. What a, an insane game from both the teams here. Trade there. Let's see, let's see if Husky can get that push, get, get into the new hill here, and break it pretty good here. So they're all getting all set up, waiting for one of each other. Seeing if that picks, Zelly is not able to find it. And that's 3 4 Nicholas Day here. Brody just playing his life, waiting for his team so they can break it together. Tippy with the spawn now that Tassi cannot read that. I would not read that myself either. QTP is able to find one. And does he find the other one? Not too sure, but I'll try. What a, what a good try trying to break that build there. Uh, Gave an awful lot of great time. Only able to get 42 points compared to ours. Here, able to get 50 points from there. That last hill. So, P3, good job holding the hill down. One up left. No way he is. Great. In Brody with the early rotation so they don't get the spawn out, but it looks like Zillashu did, but he's gonna help rotate and control the map here. Hers try to play his life, not able to. And you see Nicholas State trying to rotate from P1 to P2, get that dome control, how they did that break, same thing again. Let's see if Kutsky raised the same thing. Great trades from the Huskies, huge two-piece from Excelius from there. You got Shoku, great pick to hold it off, knows where the last person is. But not able to close that, what a, oh, what a team kill from Nicholas State. Not able to close that out there. So, we have up to two, 205 to 262, I'm oh, sorry, 162. Kikuski can break the last hill, have a good 50 points here or 40 points here to close this map out. We just need one good break. What a good picks from Exilius here. Team was not able to close out, but they have a close spawn. Not able to really. 
free iron. Then then TT with the huge two piece there. So do we have a lot of time to get this break this hill? Spawning back P3 here. See if they get a few picks. Get that control. Mac with a huge play just to be staying and playing his life and just getting that pick off. Zelius with two huge two picks. Oh my god, the Huskies able to clutch that up, able to push through from P1, help to break that, and able to have a good break in P2, having that control. Exelios coming out from P4, able to get that guy off the Draza Rock there, and helped his team with a huge spawn up to P2 there. What a good game from them. They must be fired up from here. I can hear them from the my podcasting side. Oh my god, we're going to a map five.
right, welcome back, guys. Here to the final round. Oh, let's see if... Uh... Yeah, so we didn't change the podcast here. We'll be back in a second here. Uh, wasn't able to get time to switch to podcast here. Well, that's okay. We're, 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 we're still, we're still uh, uh, on the caster screen. It's okay. Nobody <laughs> we knows really knows want to that win that going game. wrong. We're all good. <laughs> we really want that 5v4. <laughs> <laughs> to close that map out. And continue on our playoffs here. <laughs> all right, we'll switch out quickly here. We'll get that game started up again. Yeah, just about ready to go. Here's going to our fifth and final map of the night. The decider between the Huskies and Nichols going into the rest of Call of Duty playoffs for the NACE Star League. As we're coming into Embassy to end out on Search and Destroy. Very, very much that slow place, deliberate game mode that uh, comes in pretty, pretty clutch. Oh yeah, so back in again with the. Uh, we're starting, ready to get going here. Yeah, it's back again with the S and D map, Embassy here, starting off with defense here. Most teams like to go B. This is a really good quick hit. So we'll see how we're gonna set up to that. Entry coming through here, Huskies. Have control of that B site with one uh, Brody sitting out long on A. Nichols looking a little bit slow right now. You can see C-Mac rotating through the middle, going through this building. Brody does have the angle. He's trying to find out some info. Yeah. I like where Shoku is at, trying to play that info, hearing those loud elephant steps, knowing that someone is pretty close top office. Coming in at Shotsu block here in the middle of the map, seeing if you get more audio cue for Brody. Rotation is coming through. Throw from C-Mac, though. He's going all the way to the top side of this map right now. Everybody just waiting for some sort of trigger to happen. You can see how close uh, Shoku and Shark are to each other right now. Just a few feet of distance away from each other. Shots being fired, though. That's one from Tippy. So it's going to show a little bit of presence. But time ticking down now. 25 seconds on the clock. That B-Site is starting to be taken here. Shots are starting to be thrown out. But they weren't able to hear C Mac going up to B bomb. Let's see how they can retake this bomb site here. Brody going the back of their spawn, knowing that Shark is up there. Two coming up behind him, able to shoot him off here. Curse getting the site, unable to find anything though. And that's just trade after trade for Nichols right now. Tippy with the sniper doesn't even need to throw a shot as on time there Nichols is able to get that full plant and get the first point of this map five decider Only a few seconds left for uh, Nicholas stayed to able to bomb that plant that bomb site No info was able to see them crossing they were to see that they're able to stop them the bomb plant to get on and plant that right here Let's see what the Huskies can do on the offense side here. Offense, something we've been struggling a little bit at the Husky side, but looks like we're just going to go for a full rush B. First initial look, see if anybody's throwing presents that way. And you can see how far Brody and Shoku are pushed up. And it looks like Shoku is going to go for that plant immediately. Just show really fast aggression here. And I like that. After coming, such, coming off of such a deliberate and slow round that you just got chunked out of, Completely flip that. Show that aggression. Hold that space. Shoku able to get that info. See where everyone's at and see. Hopefully they can get match that to hold the site here. Two down from the Huskies. See if they can close it out. Get one pick at a time. He's coming through. So that presence. That's two picks off for the Huskies. It's a 1v2 situation here for Brody. Last alive. Sure. He's coming he through. Wants looking for it finds that one he's able to peek that six seconds left brody forcing q tippy off of that point trying to get that wrap around one second and just like that they're able to clutch that through on the timer just barely how did the huskies clutch that out well the huskies got that sight line knowing where the bomb is planted and they had that control you know if you have the office control or that planter side they're able to see that bomb and take them off. Brody snaking 
so much. Not the <laughs> the Nicholas State was not able to pick him off if I'm that hoodie. What a good play from the Huskies there. Definitely some strong mechanics being shown out of Brody and the rest of the Huskies right now. Setting up on this defense, though, P2P opting to stay on this sniper. Try and find some picks early, but it doesn't matter when Shoku already has first blood mm. on the board. Bomb, I believe, down as well. What a big two-piece from Shoku here. Knowing that bomb is probably down, and now they're going to have that control on that site. You have Brody backing up to have to help them hold that bomb site down and then they're going to play their angles play some info they're see what nicholas can do this b site now they're not sure if anybody's there yet but nicholas state is using that slow push from the huskies to start wrapping around q tippy finding a way out on a they know it's secure but they don't have the bomb doing anything with slow peek out gets chunk but not dead yet and that's an info for the huskies now so you here, you got Tippy though. And q 2 knows that Brody's down here Q2, does he get that trade off? Choku! I don't know, that was a... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a bit of a, a, bit of a weird Number little two. fight here. <laughs> uh, not exactly Remember sure the best way I wanted that to go, but the Huskies are able to clutch that through, holding that space, <laughs> and bringing this up 2-1. to one. What a good defense round from the Huskies here. Brody knowing where last is. What great shots from him coming down. Big clutch there from Kurz across the map too. Just to find that extra pick on the 1v1. That's huge information game just off that one pick. Knowing that that Nicholas player was the last one left alive and just going for that ego. You have the men for it. Just go for it. Definitely. They had that, you know, all the most of the angles already uh, set but I can see how the Huskies can do it here another quick B plant here but the Nicholas stay ready to take them off that I mean if it ain't broke don't fix it right Huskies opting to uh, rush in for that B rush again but not like quite working out there however the picks are coming through and they're able to even this out to a 2v2 situation with the bomb down on that B site it might be doable for the Huskies to pick this up and plant it and defend around it crazy though you can see him on that high ground just looking for a better angle to snipe out the rest of the Huskies Huskies see what that looks like they might take better yeah. a bit though it might go for a big rotation and hopefully they're gonna rotate to A you have uh, craze kind of a little bit reading that situation knowing that the bomb is probably picked up and seeing that they oh they got info Brody coming on the push now gets traded out by craze and forge uh that means exelios last left alive here and that bomb is pushed in so far into a he has to entry this by himself but doesn't even get time to think about it. he's shot in the back and nickel is able to clutch that back up to two to two it was a good play from them, rotating to give up that site and go for a new one here. They had the info, but not able to close out that round. Just a bit of it of a unfortunate entry plan there. Maybe on the next uh, attacking side from the Huskies, they might think better of that B push now, knowing that they'll have resistance against it. But can't think about that now, because Huskies are setting up for the defense. See what the Huskies. We'll set up here if they're going to do another aggression, which Shoku did get that nice two picks here, but it seems like Nickel State's going to play it safe. Oh, what an unfortunate team nade from Brody here. But Alex able to even that lives up back again. Yeah, it's got to it's gotta hurt a little bit, but you have to make do with what you have, and you're able to get that extra pick. Just make this even 3-3. Three to three. You have some point pressure on both sides of the map, and you have time for the clock to start ticking down. So Nickel State seems like they're just trying to play some info, maybe get another pick before they go into a site. Looks like they look like they're regrouping together. Looking to plant on a site here. Brody making Xelios get picked off from the snipe here. Yeah, that's a huge See Brody can... long distance snipe there across the map. 2v3 now for the Huskies. 
Feels like Brody knows this too. You can see him snaking around here. He finds his one, but Shoku is taken out by Quippy. Rotating back into that A site now. 23 seconds left. The stun coming through for the Nichols as well. And just completely unaware, Brody is taken out there. And Nichols is going to steal that lead and make this 3-2. to two. Yeah, What a shot that Brody had. Snaking from the gas here. But didn't know that QTP went to cross the top gas. Unaware. Let's see, Husky's down one round. Hopefully, can even it up in this offensive round here. Just can't let this snowball away from him. That's two rounds in a row now that they haven't been able to clutch up on. We'll see what they do for this attack now as they start running with the bomb. And you can see immediately the difference in these past two aggressions versus now they're being a lot slower with it. But even still. They're still finding picks with it. Curse is able to find out c -Mac early, and that's going to do great things for them when they start to attack. And out with its strong Shoku getting dangerous with it. Knows QP is out on that long angle. But right now, they have the space to make this work. They're starting to throw the util, and they want to look for this bomb plant. Like Nicole State is just trying to give out that site. c tries to kind of regroup together and try to retake this bomb site. Now, Husky... Getting that set up. Brody able to get that pick off a of top AC here. Do they know that Craze is coming mid map? Shoku. On it. For it. He's looking for it. He's able to get oh it through. My... <laughs> get a little antsy on the keys here. <laughs> but just like that, Keanu, with a diff very different approach to their attack, are able to tie this up three to three. What a good pick from Alex there. He almost got caught timing at his finest. Had his gun up, but able to finish that gunfight in mid. And able to get that control up on top of AC there. Get that pick off. Big momentum killer moment there for the Huskies. They needed that just to stuff out the good feelings out of the Nichols side. But it's their attack now. C-Mac picking up this bomb. And again, q be on the sniper, looking at Brody early, he's pushing out super far, but way too far there. The Huskies are able to convert off of it, and they're able to sneak out with a 3v2 advantage. And all just like that, wow, I didn't even realize that. Crazy takes out his curves, but Crazy is the only one left alive here for Nichols. Never mind, oh never my mind, God. I just need to stop talking <laughs> at some point. The Huskies just coming in and ripping that round away before Nichols even gets it started. Exelios in a nice angle, oh, reading man. him off. What a great pick from that. Almost pixel peeking that looked like. <laughs> I'll look at from the Huskies here. Able to pick off so many lives off of Nicholas State. Here we'll see if you can use that momentum, use that fast pace, get some good kills. That first early first blood. Looks like they're doing the same B play here again. Throwing that nades off. See that bit of a difference. Oh, he's oh, he's coming up through mid and he finds that pick out early. He knows c Max trying to look out for that angle. He's trying to look for that B push. That's an early pick though. Traded out. But that gives the Huxley space to just come back to their favorite B site. And start setting up. Coming out a little bit too wide of a swing for him to keep his life that's going to be big bomb plant here for the huskies and they have the numbers to keep this i like the uh choku in the back knowing that they don't have that pressure but do they know that someone is top ac here it's going to be gunfire able to pick up in and just kutipi last alive and this is going to give us a Oh, look at the crossfire here. Look at the pixel peak from Brody. Look at the jump. And just like that, the Keanu Huskies are just one round away from clutching this playoff game and moving on to the next round. Man, the Husky is giving us a little calm of the nerves here, knowing that we just need one more round to close out this map and also close out the whole game <laughs> with a reverse sweep. Come on, Huskies, give me a break. Don't let me have the anxiety <laughs> here. <laughs> Huskies, yeah, coming down from that 0-2 map deficit, able to clutch this up strong. They need to hold their ground on the defense now. This could be pivotal. This could be the entire set. Shoku now opting to use the sniper rifle, but he's getting Util out early. Shark 
coming into pinster him out. He's unable to find that sh shot. And Shoku goes down early. 4v3 now for Nichols. You can see them creep slowly now. Trying to have a good look at this A site. Throwing in that util, but Brody is a bit too long away to even notice what's going on. Does he know? Does he know? He has to know people are on this A site. But Exelios gets picked off. That's going to be Bomb Plant here for Nichols. It looks like Nichols State has that control. Let's see if Brayden and Brody was able to pick it off. Recording the rush now. Oh, now. unfortunately, he didn't see q tippy on the rotate. Brody, last one alive. It's going to be a little tough. He's playing into a 1v4. Not completely unhittable, hey. but wow, using that amazing audio cue to find out q tippy through the wall. Comes in and gets Q-C-Mac oh too. Amazing work from Brody. He's a, a little bit of a life deficit. Does he know? How he's playing around this car right now. Crazy taking out two. It's a 1v1 fight. Shark coming in just in time. But Brody making it a little bit nerve-wracking here for Nichols. For sure, Brody was just playing his life because he knew he need, just need one more kill for that uh, boost there. So now he has a streak. They have that info if need be. I wonder if they're going to use it during the offensive round here. Get that easy B-bomb sight. We'll see what the Huskies can do with that. Husky is definitely loving that B push. Let's see how they play it out on this round, though. Do they switch it up, or do they go to the old reliable and try to just rip this away from Nichols? For sure. Let's go into Brody's point of view, because he's going to use that streak, I feel like. Having a look. Yes, definitely that B bomb site. Heavily in favor from the Huskies, but they don't exactly need to know? switch it up. They know how to play these angles. They know Shark's up there now as well. But, man, the rotation there from Craze is just crazy. Finding out two there. That's Look at all the distance gained here for Nichols across this map. What a play for him. Craze able to just go around the map and just get that person off top off his. What a play from here. Let's see what the Kiana's guys can do. They can still do it as they did it before at 2v4. He's pushing that slowly. Hey, Brody using one. the time to get the pick, but that's a trade. 1v3 now. Curse last alive. He's getting champions chunked out. He's trying to find something. He knows. Crazy right behind that wall, but is unable to convert the pick. And we're heading into the final round of this entire series. It could not be closer. The Huskies, one win and one loss away from deciding their fate in the rest of NECE playoffs. Oh, goodness. <laughs> the Huskies. Just needed that one round, but they still have one round left. Both teams do. This is just to move on in the playoffs of the Nace Star League. Can the Huskies close this map out? Looks like they have that offenses round here. It looks like it's going to be a quick push here. They don't want to give any time up. They want to push in and... Nichols is ready for it too, but they're playing into a 3v4. c -Max able to find that first blood. Trade it out though. They have control over the bomb site, but Shoku not knowing anybody's up on the high ground. It's 2v2 fight now for the Huskies to try and get that bomb back. Kurz making his way through the rest of Nichols. Doesn't quite seem to know where everybody's playing from, but we're seeing 1v1 fights happen. Exelios tries to push out, but gets found out. c -Mac clutches it up. And Nichols is going to be the winner here of this five map <laughs> gauntlet of a set. Man, what a round and a map for both teams here. Man, they picked up Brody, not able to use that streak. Unfortunate for the Candle Huskies here. Man, they fought hard to have that reverse sweep here. Did they have that momentum going into this map here? They just got a little off the gas at the last rounds for them. Just could not be closer. They had every opportunity. They had so many angles. They had so many clutch moments. Just unable to grasp it at that very last crucial second. And unfortunately, that does mean that the Keanu Huskies are out of NACE playoffs contention that ends their run. Oh, oh, it hurts. I gotta say, it hurts just a little bit, Jed. Just a, just a little bit. <laughs> hurts for me for a lot. I know how the boys 
you know, work a lot to be structured. And for this game here, they've showed a lot of passion to work it together and have a good team into this playoffs here. But man, it's such a heartbreaking loss. Just to lose such as a round 11 last map. It's such a heartbreaking time. It's a hard loss, but uh, you and me both, we all need to just rally around the Huskies right now as we have more competitions to get into. At the end of next weekend, we're going to be getting the Battle of Alberta, so stick around on the Huskies socials for that. And just right after that, the COD team will be back playing in Canadian Nationals, and I'm quite excited to see how the Huskies play in that. So we have a lot more Huskies esports action coming your way in the next few weeks. So stick around. Make sure you follow the Twitch, follow the Twitter, follow us everywhere and keep up with our games because we have a lot more to show. That ends us our stream for tonight. Thank you mu very much, everybody, for tuning in. And thank you, Jed, very much for joining us on the cast today. i got to say, uh, very essential casting needed. <laughs> I've been seeing you. Bad, not too bad for myself. But... I, I, no, I, I will give you as many props as you need. It is really, really pivotal for us on the broadcast to have someone not only with uh, knowledge of the game, but knowledge of the team itself, being a core member of this roster, able to share those little micro plays, what everybody's thinking, and share that with us as the audience. And <sighs> Huskies are down today, but we have so much more. Uh, left in us for the rest of this semester. So stick around. We'll see you very, very soon.